So we finally get to meet the girl that our main male character is being forced to marry. Now, FYI, if you have yet to see the first episode, I truly recommend it if you like romance series and a little bit of tragedy. I did a first impressions last week. If you were unaware and this is the first time you're seeing this title on the channel, I did one last week so you could check that video out. So with that being said, the latest episode, episode 2, is here. And I gotta say, I like it. I definitely like it. I'm glad that this series is continuing to hold that quality that I expected from it from the first episode. However, this episode was very unexpected in a way. I figured that Sonata, I think that's her name, you know, the new girl that was introduced in this episode, or I guess the, one of the main female characters, since she is being forced to marry our MC, I figured she was going to be a straight-up bitch. Like, I thought she was going to be someone that's completely unlikable, or someone that was going to have a hidden side to her that was trying to manipulate our MC, and then make it to where, like, the other female character, our other main female character, would hate our MC. But that wasn't the case in this episode. I figured that would be, like, the stereotypical direction that this series would try to take, make us completely hate the character that our MC is being forced to marry, but that did not happen. So in one way, I got to, you know, praise Love and Lies for doing kind of the unexpected. So overall, my impressions of the new girl, Sonata, I like her. I, I like her character. She's very cute. And in some ways, I actually like her than our main female character from the first episode. Not even joking, I actually like her. I mean, maybe that's the point of what the writer was trying to do here, showing us that even though our MC, he didn't want her... Maybe the system does work. It, clearly, we could see throughout this episode that in some ways, the system does work, especially when it matches two people together, because these two characters, the way they're able to communicate with each other, and the way they're able to share certain things that they would never talk with anyone else, even their close friends, that's definitely something that just does not happen. I mean, when you have the entire combo, when, you know, the new female character, Sonda, is talking with her MC, and she doesn't even have her skirt on, now, obviously, she was unaware of this, fan service, by the way, she was able to have this combo with him, and he was able to kind of continuously talk with her, even though she was in that embarrassing state, and answer her, that showed that, at the very least, the system does work. Now, in some cases, it's going to probably be broken, because no system is perfect, that's just how it works. But in this case, even though he didn't want her, and he wasn't interested at all, it seems like she is a sweet girl. It does seem like they could actually be compatible, but that might not be the case. I feel like the big thing here that this series is trying to showcase, even if a system is perfect, and it can, you know, choose the proper person you can be with, that doesn't mean people want to accept that. Now, I feel like that's kind of what the series is trying to show us here. That there's sometimes when you're given a choice, okay? Let's say we're given a choice of option A and B. Option A, you get to, you know, eat this nice, delicious cake, okay? You get this wonderful fucking cake. Now, the cake is not a lie, obviously. It's just a delicious cake, like your favorite type of cake. And if you choose the cake, it's just not going to be healthy for you. That's just how it is. However, there's a system in place to where it forces you to choose the healthy option. You gotta eat your vegetables and all of that. And so, in this case, the system, even though it's putting you down the proper path, many would want to go against that because they want to eat their cake. And that's kind of what's being showcased here. Now, I know it's not to the same level of romance, like, you know, food and romance is just completely two separate things, but I'm just making a point here that sometimes people don't want to choose the best option or the option that would honestly make sense that a system does work. And in that case, it does work. But many don't want to go with that because they want to do what they want to do. They don't like to be controlled by something that is out of their realm of possibility. Like, they, they want to be able to do what they want to do. They don't want something coming in and saying, you gotta do this shit. That's just how people are. I mean, let's face the facts here. If someone was to tell you you can't do fucking something, it happens with a lot of people. Like, if someone tells you you're not supposed to touch that button, a lot of times people are gonna want to touch that button. That That's just how it works. So, I do appreciate this series for the message of that, showcasing that even though it works, people don't want that. And that's what I think the main male character is gonna have to go through. Now, also, if the couple is a perfect match, honestly, that is a bad thing as well. Because, for it to be completely perfect, 
that shouldn't actually be a good thing because relationships now I don't have the best experience I'm not gonna say I do but relationships honestly should be about two people that are kind of different I mean they should be compatible in a way but they need to be different to where they can help each other with their own flaws like someone has these own flaws and when the other person this other individual you know they have some flaws but they are able to like help each other with these certain flaws they have and that's kind of how a relationship should be but if they're a perfect match to where like they can perfectly fit together Together and they don't need to help each other for their own problems, then th there's really no nothing you can learn from that. So, I do like the series for making me fake these things. It's a really good series for that. Now, getting back on topic to Sonata, you know, our, our new female character that was introduced, she, like I said, her character design is very cute. Her personality is sweet. I figured she was going to be a bitch. And she also, you know, she seems to be likable in terms of just wanting to help out the MC. Actually wanting to help him out and learn about the other girl and see how she is and why she loves the MC so much. I mean, there could be a grand scheme here because the series did just start. I mean, she could be somewhat of an ass, we just don't know. But for now, though, it does seem like she's kind and I could definitely see her possibly trying to help out these two get together. Now, there is something I want to point out in this episode. There was a dude in the classroom, like, towards, like, the first half of the episode. There was a dude in the classroom that was talking with our other main female character that our MC likes. He's like, oh, shouldn't you want to know what his, you know, wife looks like and all that? And then she's like, why would I want that? You know, she just replied in a very angry, you know, fashion. It makes you wonder what's going on between those two's relationship. Maybe those two are also paired together, and maybe he knows that she likes him, and like, you know, likes the main male character, and, you know, he's, like, trying to help her out or something. I don't know. I, I just feel like there's definitely something going on there because of that exchange with the, both of those two in the episode. So, yeah. Great episode. Art and animation look good as well. So, yeah, we got a really good series on our hands. We have a really good romance from Summer of Anime 2017. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I love you all so much. Please be safe. Chibi out.